Okay, this one is a very important lesson about selecting objectives for your campaign. You got to know what you want to accomplish before you get started. Otherwise, chances are you're going to pour money down the drain. So let me tell you all about it. So my name is Manuel Suarez and I am the Marketing Ninja and I'm here to tell you about Facebook objectives when you're trying to run a campaign on the business suite on the Facebook business world. So the first thing that I want to do before we jump into it is I want to define the word objective because some of you guys know what it is, but have you even Googled it before? And I have the definition right here that I want to go over with you. And this is directly from Mr. Google. If you guys search for it on G-O-O-G-L-E.com, you're going to find uh, the definition of objective and it says the following, a thing aimed at or sought a goal. Hmm. So something that you're aiming for, something that you're trying to accomplish, what is that thing that you are looking to get to the bottom of or looking to get to that particular target, that goal? That's an objective. So on this particular lesson, over the next few minutes, I'm going to go over the Facebook objectives that you are given as an option before you actually get started running a campaign on the Facebook family of apps. Let's get to the whiteboard. All right, so before we talk about the business objectives on Facebook, you got to make sure that you understand the business suite that you're going to be using to create advertising on Facebook. So my guys are probably going to link up here. If you guys want to watch the video on the Facebook Business Manager, this video should be watched before you watch this one right here. So you can go ahead and link to that one and then come back over here. If you've seen that video before or you already understand what the Facebook Business Manager is, also known as the Facebook Business Suite, well, let's talk about business objectives. Okay, so when you're in the business suite, this is one of the ad accounts that I selected over here, particularly the Natural Slam account. That uh, It's a brand that I own that I've been um, running for about 14 years now. On social media, it's really been about eight years that we've been heavy on the world of social media marketing on it, but it's a big, big brand at this point. We're doing over $75 million a year in revenue at this point, and we service the Latin American community in nine different countries. Well, we do a lot of Facebook ads. This is a Natural Slim USA ad account. If I want to create a new campaign, I got to have a plan in place. What is it that I want to accomplish? Well, Facebook asks me a series of questions before I actually get started. They want to know what is my objective? What is my aim? What is my goal? What am I trying to accomplish with that particular campaign? Remember, I'm going to be putting my hard earned dollars. I need to make sure that when I am spending this money, all right, it costs me a lot of energy to spend to create this money. When I'm spending this money, I got to make sure that I am looking for, I'm looking to accomplish exactly, uh, I'm going to accomplish exactly what I'm looking for. All right. So it's very important that I don't know if you guys have heard that saying before, um, cash is oxygen. If you guys run out of cash, your business chances of survival are going to disappear, right? So you got to make sure that you have the right objective in order to keep your business going forward. So when you're in an ad account, any ad account that you have, right? And you click on create over here. I'm going to go ahead and circle it. This thing right here. When you click on create, it opens up the objectives on Facebook. And the first question, which is the only thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is what are all these different options? So let me talk about those things. So choose a campaign objective. There are, if you notice, I'm going to change the color on this pen right here. If you notice this, there are one column, one column, two column, three column, one. Number one has two objectives. Number two has one, two, three, four, five, six objectives. Column three has one, two, three, three objectives in total. They're all different. The first column, Facebook calls it awareness. The second column, Facebook calls it consideration. The third column, Facebook calls it conversion. They're all different because it's supposed to be a customer journey. When you're looking at this particular process, you're looking at a customer journey. If somebody doesn't know who you are, they've never seen your brand, they've never seen your face, they never bought your products before, or they haven't engaged with your content before, it's called a cold audience. That's what it's called. 
That particular audience right there usually is not aware of your brand. So you have two objectives that you can use to try to reach these people. Try to convert them into potentially being interested in your brand and having a consideration of engaging with your brand further that leads into a consideration of buying your products, a conversion of them becoming your customer, your lead, your prospect, your client, whatever that may be, that is the customer journey. It's an entire journey that goes from unaware to becoming a client of yours. Technically, I would look at awareness objectives as the following ones. Brand awareness, reach, video views, and even engagement. These four objectives are really all about getting people to know you, getting people to understand what your message is and what your products are all about. For example, my father, for many, many years, he was a great content creator. I used to call him a unicorn. I've been able to deal with, been lucky enough to work with many content unicorns over the years. Dr. Eric Berg, Damon John, Dan Henry, uh, my father, Frank Suarez, um, Latin American celebrities like Rudy Rodriguez. These guys are amazing powerhouses that know how to produce content. Well, video views are a great way to get them to know you. And if they know you and they believe in you, you're investing money on getting them to see your content, to get familiar with you. For example, you might be seeing this video and I might be paying my staff, my uh, marketing team to get them to show this video to you. And it's because I wanna have you trust me and build a relationship with you because along the way, if I offer another service and I have provided any value to you, you might just take me up on my offer because you now trust me, you're building something that we all need before we make a purchase decision. What is that thing that we're trying to build here? We're trying to build trust. So the Facebook objectives are all about creating that customer journey along the way. As you are engaging with your audience, you're putting all those videos out there, you're making them comment, interact with your brand, you're reaching more people. For example, brand awareness is gonna help more people get to remember who you are. Reach is gonna help you reach as many people as possible. That's the difference. Brand awareness is recognition. Sometimes it repeats the same message over and over, getting them to remind, remember who you are. Reach is gonna be about a number. It's about reaching as many unique people as possible. Engagement is about them converting with your um, connecting with your ad, your video, your image, liking, commenting, sharing, engaging with your Facebook page or your Instagram profile. Video views is exactly that, getting your videos. If you're a content unicorn like my father was, then you can actually get people to see your videos and fall in love with you so they can trust you more. And once you start building those audiences there and you start getting people to like you, to appreciate you, to believe in you, to trust you, you can start now looking at other objectives that are gonna help you get revenue, get more sales, get more volume, get more leads and prospects. And what are these uh, objectives over here? Well, conversions. They're all about generating sales if you're an e-commerce brand, generating leads if you're trying to service people, conversions ads, when you send them to your website to try to convert on a specific goal that you have, that's a conversion ad. Those ones require a pixel on your website. I don't wanna open up a can of worms, but you wanna have a code on your site that lets Facebook know when somebody converted on your ad. Catalog sales, this is a fantastic opportunity for e-commerce brands. You can set up a catalog if you have a Shopify site, so you can go directly to them and have them purchase your products and optimize for purchases. Store traffic, that's specifically trying to get people into your brick and mortar store. Have them walk into your store. Lead generation, if you have a great process for nurturing people on email, on SMS, on Facebook Messenger, whatever that may be, you can actually generate leads and you know that's gonna turn into profit. Or if you have a sales team like we do over here, we're gonna be able to generate leads and have them get on the phone with our consultants so we can sell them our marketing services. Messages, this is meant for 
Instagram direct messages and Messenger, Facebook Messenger messages so we can get people coming into that channel and have them connect with us through that particular platform right there. Again, it's all about attention. App installs. If you have applications, then you want to get people to install those applications, correct? That's one of those right there. Last but not least is traffic. If you're trying to get more traffic to your website, for example, have people um, visit your blog, learn more about your value, your content, that's the way that you actually get that, that word, uh, the traffic objective utilized. Traffic is not something that, it's very difficult to get people to convert into purchasers just from traffic, but you gotta have the right objective. So you're trying to get people to know you, branding, reach, video views, uh, and engagement. You're trying to get people to continue to connect with you, uh, traffic, engagement, uh, messages, lead generation. You're trying to get people to buy stuff from you, conversions, catalogs, store traffic. Once you select one of these options, whatever the case may be, let's say that I want to do leads, I click on that one. Let me just go ahead and delete all the stuff over here. I select that one and I go to the next step over here. Continue. Now I start building the campaign. I select my audience. I select my creative. And now I start optimizing for that specific objective that I accomplished. Remember, Facebook is in it with you. If you succeed, they succeed. It's very logical. If you are getting results, they get more money and they keep on growing. So always, always know that Facebook is not your enemy. He's your partner in the business venture. If you make it, they also make it along the way, all right? So hopefully that made you a little bit more ninja. Keep on working on becoming a marketing ninja yourself and you will soon be more in control of your business destiny. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please comment. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next episode.